Nick Lee, I mean, I think we're, we're all trying to digest and, and, and come to some grips as, on this national tragedy. What happens next? Where, where, does, where, where do race relations in America go next? I think this is a critical case and a critical moment for all of us. Um, I'm very concerned with just what I've heard sitting here with people saying, you can't get out of your car in your own neighborhood and that's a mistake. That's troubling to me because we all, we live where we do because we think we have the right to go wherever we'd like to in our neighborhood, much less anyone, where else that is part of a free society. However, this was a tragedy, yes. no doubt about it. There is nothing good for anyone anywhere in this case. I think the things we need to look at for the future are things such as respecting the judiciary to handle its own cases. We cannot have things like our commander in chief weighing in. Let me give you another example of where that's happened recently. We have several military rape cases going on and our commander in chief has weighed in on those. The military judge is saying it has tainted the case. If I am a female rape victim and I am wanting a fair trial, I, can't, I do not want the president of the United States, no matter who he is weighing in on cases like this. Well, so I'll tell you what I, I, what I think was the only criticism I would have of President Obama is that he personalized this. I think it's I think very appropriate. the strength of his remarks uh, that he, he had did to. personalize it. He had to personalize, it. No. He had this to personalize it. No. He had to speak to his own experience as someone who grew up um, perceived the way that Trayvon was perceived um, 35 years ago and, and then speak as an adult you know, to, to his experience. And, to, and proceed to that bias that people would have had to, you know, towards him, and he is the leader of the free world. But how would you